Tiffany. I am here with the new Zuru Max Build More Blocks. These are Lego brick compatible, which is so super cool. I have the 250 accessory pieces, so you get wheels, windows, doors, and then I have the 759 pieces Max bricks, lots and lots of bricks, and we have the 15 Max figures, and I have this Max base plate to build on. It's 10 by 10 and it's compatible with major brands. I do want to thank Zuru for sending these to me to open up with you guys today. I'm very, very excited to see how they snap together and their quality. So let's go ahead and start getting this stuff open. I wanted to quickly show you what you get in the big boxes of bricks. So this is the Max Brick Pack. So these are all of the brick types you get. So, so many cool ones and so many different colors and so many variations. And then in the smaller accessories one, this is everything you get. Lots and lots of wheels and doors and windows and fences, I guess. So many cool things to work with. And you get so many ideas on <laughs> the little pack. And they do come with like one extra brick. Every pack did, even the people pack. We got this one, it's kind of to show what size brick they are and all that fun stuff. It does say Max on them. And then we have this out of the box. It's a nice 10 by 10 gray workspace. So we'll be building a few things here and there. But here are all of the little people that we get inside. We got a print, or a, well, bank robber. We got a firefighter, policeman. We got handcuffs. We got a construction worker, pirate, adventurer. We got one of everybody, man. We got all kinds of good stuff. And I really do like how they each come with an accessory. So let's just take a look at, whoops. <laughs> Let me put him back together. And then we'll take a look at them well, kind of just a few of them. Um, we have an accessory, obviously, that fits inside their hands, and his head moves, his, he can sit, his arms move, and actually his waist moves. Now, that's quite interesting. I like that. Um, I'm thinking you could, you can obviously take his hat off and stuff like that, but um, you know, you can take his accessories off or change them up a little bit. Let's put that back in. You can take his hat off and his hair off, all that kind of, all that fun stuff. Now let me grab a brick really quickly. Oh, it looks like, oh, can he, they're, these are on like balls, so they actually can move a little bit more than you think they can. That's pretty interesting. Oh, that's super neat. Okay, let me just set him on there for now so we can keep him in line. <laughs> and then let's look at this next guy. The only problem I've seen so far, it's not necessarily a problem, but the waist does come off the body quite easily. Um, but it's fine. It's not like it's falling out or anything. Just if you had like, if you played with it, like rough played with it, then it probably would fall out more often. But this is the next guy we have. And then we're going to just keep moving along here. And I'm going to grab this astronaut. Here's our astronaut and he has a flag in his hand here and has a planet on it. That's pretty awesome and his head thing flips up, his little mask. I'm just going to kind of lay them down because they don't really, they can stand up but you have to kind of work at getting them to stand up. It'd be easier if I had them on this thing right here, which I will put them on in a minute. Then we have this monster guy, whoa, I just popped his arm out of the socket. He's so cool though. Oh my gosh, he's really neat. He's one of my favorites. Then we have a race car driver that I just threw across the room. He's really cool. He comes with a little trophy. So we could probably put that in his hand. I'm loving how these guys come with, oh, <laughs> I'm being super like rough with these guys. Um, I love how you can put the little accessories in their hands. And stuff. Next up we have, so you can see they're popping off of their bottoms when I pull them out of here and I know I'm kind of doing it fast so. But if you did it slow, well, maybe it wouldn't, they wouldn't come off as fast. But here's this guy, he has a nice little lightsaber. Love it. Oh my gosh, there's so many more to go through. I love this guy, he's a Viking. Oh, and we like ripped his head off. Oh no, 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 no. I got our Viking's head back, it's all good. So I love his beard, it has braids in it, it's amazing. It's just the most amazing thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Let me put his little weapon in his hand here and we'll keep moving along. We have the police officer next. I love his handcuffs here. Let's kind of put those in his hand. 
and you can totally put these on somebody, which is cool. And then we have a construction worker, and he has a jackhammer. Gotta love that. That's pretty neat. See, see what I mean? The, the legs just fall off so easily, but I mean... At least they're not hard to snap on together. I have to say that some some brick brick sets are definitely really difficult to snap together. The next we have the bank robber. I love him. Love his little hat there. And then we have this guy. Ooh, let's put this this in his hand. His weapon in his hand. He's so super cool. And then we have this guy. Yeah, it looks like his brain's on the outside of his head. That's pretty interesting. And then we have this guy, the little pirate guy. I like his hat with the feather on it. And then he has this sword. He can do some sword fighting and he has a hook for a hand that's so cool. And then we have a firefighter. Let me see if I can put this together like that. Ta -da! And then the last one we have is actually the adventurer. Do -do -do -do! Okay, I'm gonna push those guys off to the side and we are going to open up our first brick pack. Oh, I think they're actually still sealed shut here. I'm going to need to open these up. Be very careful when you open these up. Okay, and then we just unhook them like that. And ta-da! And the lid is just a giant brick, which is cool. And we'll set that up there. So we get all kinds of different packs. I lots of door frames and windows in this pack. We get tires and tire supplies in this pack. And there are like ladders and windshields in this pack. And this is some um, extras like bodies and stuff like that I think and door frames. But those are so cool and they come in this nice reusable container. I'm going to set that off to the side. Let's look to see what's in the next one here. We're going to need to cut it open. And I can't wait to see how many bricks we get. Da -da -da -da. Ooh, we got so many bricks in here. Wow. Oh, we have a little booklet in this one. Oh, and we got eyes. We got eyes, you guys. Oh, 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 we got eyes, you guys. They seem to be pretty big, so I guess, I don't know if you're supposed to put these on people you make or if like you make animals. I think it's supposed to be if you make animals because if you look at the people, they don't have that big of eyes. Anyway, that's really, really awesome. And then we have this booklet, Max Ideas inside. So let's take a look. Oh, this is so cool. So it tells you what you get and then it shows you all kinds of things you can make. Oh, I love this. Look at this. And then it even gives you instructions for some of the things. So you can see right here, puppy. And then right here, we get to make a puppy. Now, if you wanted to make a house, you'd click to the house, which is page 25. This is really awesome. I love this because sometimes, like me, I'm not a perfect builder, so <laughs> um, having some guidelines would really help. Whether it be, like it doesn't even need to be exactly, but it'd be along the line. So let's go take a look at the house, for instance. Let's see, where is it? House, where are you? Oh, house, here it is. So for the house, you could use different color bricks. You can add an extra wall. You can add in two rooms, but this will give you a, definitely a basis to work with, which I think is so awesome, you guys. And it even has a tree. Oh man, so there's like a little tree house. I think that's supposed to be a tree house. Oh no, 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 sorry, it's not. It's you have to put the fence in. So you can make a tree house if you wanted to. That would be so cool, actually. I might have to try that sometime. Oh man, look at all of these ideas. I really like that. I love it. So we do get some bricks here, some green ones here. Got some like car pieces there, it looks like. Got some here, some here, here. We got a bunch. So many, you guys. There's so much to work with. You can build so much stuff. There's like three more bags in here. Now, I'm not going to go crazy and open all of these up at once because I'm not a master builder. I'm going to go ahead though and open up this pack that I have. And I'm just going to make something really interestingly weird and small. I don't know. I haven't decided. I haven't even thought of what I'm going to build yet. <laughs> I think maybe a house. I'll try my hand at a house. Let's see how that goes.
Well, you guys, this is my house. <laughs> Told you I'm not a good builder. <laughs> I had tons of bricks left over. There's just so much you could do. Definitely would be the person to use the booklet for some guidelines. Oh my gosh. This isn't even big enough to house somebody. This is kind of just like a bed, maybe. If that's even, if we could even call it that. Click the card on the screen to watch more videos like this one. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.